What are the three factors of OEE? In the last video, we covered the fundamental principles of OEE and how to calculate it from a simple process. Just to recap, OEE stands for Overall Equipment Effectiveness and a higher OEE means a higher overall efficiency. We briefly touched on the three main factors, availability, performance and quality. But what impacts these numbers? We will express all examples in units of time, as after all, we are calculating how effectively we have used the time available to us. Let's introduce you to the OEE staircase. In grey, at the bottom of the staircase, we start with our total time. This is the duration of the time that you wish to calculate your OEE for. Next up, the blue area represents any non-worked periods due to planned shutdowns, preventative maintenance or changeover and setup time. This is known as your planned downtime. These periods don't affect your OEE as they are planned. We subtract this from our total time, leaving us with our available time, the time we expect the machines to be running for in green. On the next step up, we work out how much time your machine was actually running for. Unexpected stoppages such as machine breakdowns, material shortages or staff shortages add up to represent our unplanned downtime. In green, you can now see the time that is remaining after the unplanned downtime is taken into account, leaving us with our runtime, the time that the machine was actually running for out of the time available. The ratio of runtime to available time is our availability score. On the next step up, we take into account how fast your machines were running. If they ran slower than the intended rate, then we subtract any time wasted due to speed losses. The remaining time after speed losses have been taken into account is known as your standard time produced. The ratio of standard time produced to runtime gives us our performance score. The last factor we need to consider is the quality rate. Any time spent making scrap parts is known as our standard time lost. We subtract this from our standard time produced to leave us with our standard time earned. The ratio of standard time earned to standard time produced gives us our quality score. This is the proportion of time of your machine's available operating time that is usefully used and can be used to directly work out your OEE. The OEE staircase is a great tool to help you visualize where your losses are and help you drill down on your biggest inefficiencies. Join us next time where we will use the staircase to help us understand and calculate our OEE for our bucket production process. Thank you for watching.